Hey everybody, um, got a, another quest for one more test and I thought, uh, you know, I have enough time to do it and uh, decided I'm gonna go ahead and get it done tonight. So the request I got was to test uh, Rising uh, Free. So I went uh, Rising Internet Security Free. I went and uh, downloaded that. It's fully updated here. It's uh, just like it comes installed. This is the 2010 version. The last one I tested was 2009. So I'm going to turn some of these things on here. Um, make sure it's properly secured so you can see everything's. I don't know why these were off. Some of these were off. So that's all right. I turned them on. Uh, we got cloud security and the usual different things here different mode different modules all the fun stuff so let's get testing here i got the same links i used in uh, ca internet security so let's see what we can do here So it's detected uh, risky behavior, which you saw there was the warning from Internet Explorer 8. Unknown application. We will deny that. I don't think that one's working anymore. I don't think it will ever work. In. There we go. go. Blocked action possibly initiated by malware. It tells you registry keys are important. It's trying to change some different things. So we will deny immediately. And it detected an unknown Trojan. So far, as you can see, Internet Explorer 8 uh, has been doing actually pretty good at detecting these. That one was detected and killed. And so was that one. Smart active defense intercepted the uh, change to registry keys, so we will deny. Kernel verifier, trying to get access to network. Okay, let's get moving here. I'm already at uh, close to four minute mark, so I gotta get these done. see Internet Explorer didn't catch that one smart screen filter main reason why some it won't catch some of these is because this screen filter actually depends on the same signature database that they use in uh, Microsoft Security Essentials there we go it's trying to get a uh, connection That that was a Trojan.
looks like that one actually might have snuck through. I'm not sure. Okay, that one got caught. And that one got caught. And last one. And that one got caught. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a full system scan with Rising, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the full scan finished, and it found uh, some temporary internet files and one temp file, and it deleted all of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download Malwarebytes, update it, and run a scan. So I will be right back when that is done. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here. And it definitely found some things. I found one, two, three, four temp files. Um, three Trojans, a Trojan downloader, and uh, a Z-Bot. So I'm going to remove those. I'm not going to worry about restarting right now. And I'm going to go download Komodo Cloud Scanner and give it a scan. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner actually uh, found that same Samantha malware file again. So you can see that it found that. And it found, of course, some other different junk files and things like that. So now I'm going to go and download Hitman Pro. Install that and do a scan. So I'll see you when that's done. Alright, so... Um, Hitman Pro did a scan here. It definitely found some things. It once again found that uh, uh, Trojan sitting in the drivers. Found that Samantha Trojan. Uh, let's see what else I found here. Mm, so I found a Trojan downloader. That that right now though got stopped by Windows Defender because if you go right here sitting in the Windows Defender drive right now. It's back here. See it? Windows Defender actually found two of those. Alright. And let's see what else. I found some temporary internet files. More Trojans. Trojan. Trojan. Found a cryptic Trojan. And some more temporary internet files. So, Let's uh, double check here, see what we got running around in RAM. Uh, and you can see we still have that Trojan running in, in RAM. Let's see if we have anything else. Nothing else out of the ordinary. So, um, as of right now, Rising um, 2010 free. I'd probably avoid it. Um, their interface here is still a little buggy. It kind of slows everything down. Um, I mean, it looks pretty and all that, but... And I'm sure, I mean, if I really cranked up the settings to, like, advance or something like that, I could definitely probably protect the whole computer, but it asks a lot of questions and they just need some more work on it. Uh, they've advanced a lot, but they still need some more work on it. As of right now, I'd probably look towards another free security suite. And that's it for now. I'm going to finish up the video, upload uh, both of them, and uh, everybody take care. Have a good night.